Hello friends, I am your chemistry faculty from QLS Academy. In last class, we were discussing about chemical properties of metals. In last class, we discussed about reaction of metals with oxygen and water. Now let's move forward with more chemical properties of metals. Let's start with reaction of metals with acids. Metals acids ke saath kaise react karte hain? In the chapter acids and bases, we saw that acids react with metals to form salt and hydrogen gas. So metals when react with acid gives out salt and hydrogen gas. Metals like magnesium, aluminium, iron reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to produce their chloride salts and hydrogen gas. Zinc on reacting with hydrochloric acid produces zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Similar reaction occurs when iron reacts with dilute sulfuric acid. It gives out ferrous sulfate salt and hydrogen gas. But no hydrogen gas is produced when metals react with nitric acid, HNO3. Nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the hydrogen gas produced into water and itself reduces into any of its nitrogen oxides like nitrogen dioxide or nitric acid. For example, zinc when reacts with cold nitric acid, it forms zinc nitrate and nitric oxide and water. But surprisingly, magnesium and manganese are able to give out hydrogen gas after reacting with dilute nitric acid. Magnesium on reacting with nitric acid produces magnesium nitrate and hydrogen gas. You might be wondering ki hum bar bar dilute acid, dilute acid kyu bol rahe hain? Why not concentrated acid? It is because the metals which are able to react with acids can react well with dilute acids only. Metals dilute acid ke saath vigorously react karte hain. Ek vigorous reactions show karte hain. Then imagine how vigorous will be the reaction with fuming concentrated acids. Such reactions are very dangerous. Hence, you should not ever try to perform that. Friends, we have reaction of metals with oxygen, reaction of metals with water, we have that silver, gold and platinum do not react from anyone. They are highly inert metals. Now, can we say that those metals do not react with acids as well? No reaction occurs when we put a gold bar in hydrochloric acid. But when a gold is exposed to a mixture of concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated nitric acid, it starts to wear up. Gold dissolves in the mixture of hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. We polish our gold ke ornaments. We polish our gold and polish our gold and polish our gold. What happens in the gold ornament? It is dipped in the gold ornament. That solution is dipped in the gold That solution is known as aqua regia. Usme, jaise hi hum apna gold ornament dip karte hain, then after some time when we remove it, it comes out as new. It is all shiny again. This mixture is concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated nitric acid. Present in the ratio of 3 ratio 1. 3 parts of hydrochloric acid and 1 part of nitric acid. Now friends, let's see what will happen if we expose 2 metals to each other. Kya hoga jab hum 2 metals ko aapas mein react karwane ki koshish karenge? Last severe reactions mein, reactions of metal with oxygen, reaction of metals with water and reaction of metals with acids mein humne dekha ki sare metals ek zaysi reactivity show nahi kar rahe hain. Some were reacting vigorously while some were reacting so slow that the reaction was almost not occurring while some metals were actually not reacting. This indicates that the reactivity of metals vary. Her metal ki apni apni reactivity hoti hai. Wo kitni speed se kisi bhi substance ke saath react kar sakta hai. So, when a metal is exposed to a solution of salt to another metal, it can displace the metal from the salt depending on their reactivities. A metal with a higher reactivity than a metal present in the salt can easily replace the metal of the salt. It is an example of a single displacement reaction. When metal X reacts with a salt solution of metal Y, it gives out salt solution of metal X and metal Y. The best example to understand this is the reaction of copper sulphate solution with iron. You have studied about this reaction up so many times. Iron object, say iron nail when kept in copper sulphate solution, after some time the color of the solution changes from blue to green. This color change occurs due to the replacement of copper from copper sulphate solution to form ferrous sulphate solution and solid copper. Here, iron being more reactive than copper replaced it from the salt. Iron copper se zyada reactive hai, isliye usne copper sulphate mein se copper ko replace kar diya. 
After carefully analyzing reactivity of each metal with variety of other substances and with each other, chemists have developed a list of metals arranged according to their reactivities. In this list, the metals are arranged in a decreasing order of their reactivity. We have arranged from higher to lower reactive metals. The most react metals are on top and the most react are on bottom. Mein hai. This is the list called as the reactivity series of metals. You can clearly see that sodium and potassium occupy top positions in the reactivity series whereas silver, gold and platinum lies at the bottom with least reactivity. They are almost inert. So friends, this was all for today's class. Today we are completed with chemical properties of metals and also learned about the reactivity series. In next class, we will learn about non-metals and their reaction with metals. Till then, keep studying and if you have any doubt or need any information, you can visit the following link.